Hi everyone, um, this is Alia. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am here for your monthly um, general reading and I would like uh, for you to subscribe and also click the bell button below. Uh, and please do comment. I encourage everyone to leave a question or a comment and I will be answering um, to them in future videos. If you want to book a session um, with me, please go to my official website, found in the link below. And if you want to see a review of this deck, which is the Druid Craft Tarot, then you will find the link uh, below. So, this is it. So, let's get started with your reading. Hello, Gemini. Welcome. This is your March 2021 uh, general reading. We will start by getting, getting the general energies by cutting the deck. And we will proceed from there. It is nice to have you here. And let's see what we get. I'm sorry for this. I apologize. Okay. So let's just see. This is um, Gemini. This is March. 2021 general energies let's see what we get okay okay all right oh very nice okay very uh, straightforward meaning <laughs> so what we're saying over here is um, we have uh, endings, beginnings, and working on different projects, new things. Um, okay, so this is straightforward. Actually, what it says is that you have come to decisions and you have made up your mind so that uh, you can proceed in life the way you, you kind of uh, want to, fulfilling your... Um, esoteric um, uh, desires and taking the decision to proceed so that uh, you can work on the things that you want now this came this change um, came from uh, inner reflection and it was more on um, bringing things together and coming in conclusion so such as having thoughts, a lot of different thoughts, um, and then taking the time to reflect on that and using your emotions as well, but more on the mental or plane and bringing everything together and reflecting. So there was a pattern that you were following in your head uh, in order to get uh, through um, and bring completion. And you were okay with ending things and stopping things and postponing things and ending things. Uh, you were okay with that as long as there was a fulfillment for you and a completion. So we're saying that you're coming uh, from a, um, an ending period and you're kind of initiating a different stage in your life. And this stage for March, um, you see, it comes from inner wandering, from inner um, uh, speculating uh, how and what, and putting things on perspective, trying to figure out by taking your time. It was a, so. What I, what I'm getting here is that this um, process goes back a, a lot of. Um, like a long period this this is it has a beginning and an end it has so you're in the transitioning point because the end is so um close but so distant at the same time so it is a transitioning period but you are so pumped you're so ready for it because you were planning on it and taking your um, um failures and building on them and trial and error and again and again and 
taking your ground and building on that and asking yourself and building on that and finding your emotional stability and building on that. So it was um, a progress that came from this um, ending period, like a period that you put a lot of um, setting an end for what has not served or has served and doesn't serve anymore. And then your willingness to move forward and work and do all the necessary um, work and see and bring things into fruition and you're letting the world know that you're um, up to something that you're doing something it's something that you're so proud of that you're working at full speed full ahead you're wanting to um, bring things into fruition Although sometimes there are outside factors that might um, mess up with your plans and kind of uh, take you off track, you're pretty good at this point in your, uh, in your uh, life, you're pretty good at bringing back perspective, coming back and realigning with what um, you need so that you can uh, pro progress. Okay, so... Let's just see. Let's get to the actual reading. So the way we're going to do this is in the center, we're going to get the general energies. Here, these are the general energies for March. Over here is your love, life, relationships, marriage, connections to the outer world. Over here, we have your career. Okay, down here we have money and wealth, wealth not always being financial wealth, we'll see how it turns out for you, and then the outcome, and we'll get um, some information about your health, past gifts, uh, personal growth, and where you must concentrate on. So, uh, my friend, not really. Okay, <laughs> let's get where we need to get you. All right, something like that, huh? So that you can see it. It is important for me that you see what I'm talking about. Mm, okay. So. This is general energies of the month. So this is for March. And it seems to see how you're, you're entering this month. Um, the, the confidence that you have, your dreams, you're supporting it. You're just there with your desires and you have everything in the background supporting you. You are there. You have the will, you have the power. You're there. You have support system around you. You're initiating steps, steps and people are with you supporting you and see how this and now you cannot really tell what I'm what I'm talking about because you have not seen how uh, the other signs um, how their energies are, are working out and I would just recommend that you go and check out other uh, sign um, March videos so that you see what I'm talking about especially Aries and Taurus because there is um, a lot of contradictions there and then you will see how lucky you are for this month because what we see is like you have this determination and this is amazing and you have people supporting you you're initiating things and you're moving forward you're progressing and you're getting in your uh, environment environment um stability from your surroundings and people being there for you and you coming up with small wings and planning on your future and seeing how you want to uh, progress in life and for March this is this this is amazing because your um, general and your love uh, and your connections to the outer world when it comes to people is so supportive and so beautiful um, that you can do a lot of things and now you will see how it comes to your outcome and where you have to uh, be cautious of so over here 
you could actually more or less do whatever you want. What I'm trying to say is with the confidence that you have entered into this month and the support that you have and the mental and emotional state that you are at right now and how people see you and how they support you to help you get what you want and bring all the wins and the successes in your life. And over here, you're just making plans. So the plans that you're making could be anything. You can get married, you can have children, you can um, have the relationship or um, get it to the next level or even have the relationship that you always wanted or um, talk with your other half about uh, stability issues or your concerns when it comes to your relationship. And this all will work because you do have the support. It's like at this point, they will be like, okay, I understand what you're saying. Whereas before they were like, I don't get it. And what is that that you want? And why do you want that now? And you know, all this, um, not negativity, but being on the opposite side than where you are. Whereas in this month, you will have the support and it's a, it's a good opportunity for you um, to rearrange and organize things that you have left um, kind of uh, on the side out there, you know, uh, make phone calls, talk to your uh, family and friends and just put things in, in um, perspective, you know, know what you want and ask for it and most likely you'll get it. So I'm not worrying about this. I'm not worrying about this at all. Uh, there's flow. There's things happening. You're in a very good uh, mental state. You're very good. Um, emotional state and then we go to your career and work and see you have worked so hard and you're um, gaining acknowledgement you're um, uh, showing up more people are talking about you you're getting reputation you're out there you're you're um, establishing your ground now watch because sometimes when we have all this support and things are uh, forcing for forcing you into a specific um, direction then because there's things coming up that you're not familiar with because um, you will be faced with the unknown situations because people are like supporting you, you want to do it and they want you to do it and everybody wants, you know, things to be, um, to get done and all of a sudden you're like, oh man, I don't know how to do it. So in this situation, you will be faced with some of your fears, but that will be on the next level. So there will be new fears, things that you didn't even know existed within you, uh, insecurities that you didn't know that you had. However, because you have worked and we can see that you have the qualities that you need to bring that into fruition and work with all this um, new qualities or um, challenges, challenges that can become qualities uh, for you to proceed. And that is something that you will have to do alone. You will have the support, but it's a process that it's an internal one that you have to do. So you will grow out of this. And that's very, very um, unique in a sense because you will be a stronger, better person um, for yourself and others and for the world. That's very nice. You have a lot of things to bring into the world. And then we got go down into your wealth and money. And down here, what we see is that in the past, you have been a little bit, and it's... it's um, coming through from your um, career work to your finances, like wealth and money, um, they, it was like the universe was kind of a fighting you. You were uh, going five steps ahead and then 10 and throwing you back 10, 10 steps. It's like you had a forward movement, but it was like canceled out every time and you were so exhausted and so try to fight it and again and again. And then all of a sudden things work out. You get into contracts, you get into um, agreements, you have people believing in you. You are, um, there's a lot of success here. <laughs> good for you, good. This is wonderful. This is such a nice reading. Oh my God. All right, so things are, are, are just settling in for you. This is very nice. So you can have um, support from here to here, which is from your career work to your money. So if you find um, the ways to actually work on these challenging moments and pull through and come through as 
a winner. You um, will get awards, you will get uh, bonuses, you will get recognition, you will get um, what, whatever your, your um, heart desires, you will get it. But the prerequisite is to pour through this. Get your strength, get what you need and work with yourself. That's what you need to do here. And then on your outcome, what we have, um, and that's what I said in the beginning, we'll see how you come to the outcome because your outcome is a little bit of challenging. And this is a situation that is very nice to have, but it, it is a situation that it's, um, it sounds more an accomplishment. And then you have to go to the next step. Once you get down with your qualities, the new qualities in, in yourself, within you, then you have to move on. If you remain in this situation, what will happen is um, these qualities will evolve, imagine, and like all this support um, will become, um, uh, what is it called now? When, when someone is uh, sure that he has accomplished something, then what happens most of the time is you ask for more and you want more and more from the same situation. The key here is to switch direction and go after something new because you have uh, gotten out of this the most you could. Now, by remaining there, what will happen is you will find yourself growing and qualities, what happens is um, the qualities grow into their positives and their negatives, uh, such as things that don't support us as much. So let's say love and lust, you know? So over here, it might be too much of an accomplishment, too much of getting things your, your way. So you might become more selfish. You might um, grow qualities that they will not serve you. They will drag you down later on. So what you need to do is shift focus. Once you get everything out of here, then in your outcome, move on. Don't let the emotions grow out of you in such a way that will take a negative spin out of you. Don't let this affect you. Move on. Change direction. Um, go into um, new challenges in life. Find new tasks. Grow. Uh, work harder. Do other things. Because over here, uh, it could be a downfall if you're not cautious about it. Because all this will give you the stability and the... Um, oh, um, you, you will feel that the world belongs to you, and it doesn't. It doesn't belong to any of us. Um, so you need to um, take time and see how that feels, and then see what you're going to do with it. So let's see. Your health. And that's what I was talking about. Okay, so we have the health card where you need to concentrate on the gifts from the past and your personal growth. This is one more time that, you know, uh, I get uh, the energy that I was just describing, you know, so that's how you know it's a good reading. Um, okay, so over here, I will be using um, the card energy the way it was given uh, by the people who created the deck so over here we'll use the rebirth um, for, for judgment and I will say that what you need to do is take all that and you need to concentrate on how to make the most out of the situation a positive situation because usually what happens in is a humans we're so used in uh, complaining and being in um, a negative mental state and everything bothers us and we're you know whining and 
when we are faced with a, a, a nice supportive situation, we don't know what to do with it. And we want to sit there, you know, and stay there. But you're not going to have, you know, summers and springs throughout your life. There will be winters and, you know, autumn. So um, you have to be able to adjust fast to your new situations. So over here, you need to take all this and use it to your own benefit. We see here that you're coming from hard work, from putting in all your efforts and kind of a, this is, you've worked for it. It was not, you know, I just given to you. You have put in your part to get to here and that's awesome. But at the same time, there's, um, there's things in life that happen that some people, okay, I, want, I don't want to sound mean, but when people have too much of a success, other people kind of uh, envy them. And what could happen here is energies can come through um, that have communicating errors on them, meaning people talking bad about you or uh, changing, um, you know, um, changing things, manipulating uh, others and situations, just you know, to do their their thing. So you need to get out of uh, situations. You cannot, you know, be the king forever. Be the king and then try to go through all the phases in life. You need to go through. You know, being the page, the knight, uh, the queen, the king. There are um, levels of evolve, evolvement and you need to go through them. If you stay in one situation for a long time, then there's alleys building up around you. And not all people are good people, you know. So keep that in mind and use all the information to guide you and move you through um, the necessary steps. And then over here, what I was saying, it shows that clearly that you might, um, in your personal growth, you might be hurt in, in, in some way, but that comes from, um, not being able to, to handle your situation and move through your outcome the way you should. And most people would have a problem with that because it, it is hard when you are um, feeling good um, to purposefully get out of that situation. Why would you do that? It's like you're out, you know, enjoying your your um, morning in the sun. Why would you want to go inside? I mean, you know, you want to stay there. But then there's a natural flow that the sun will not remain in the sky forever. So then the moon will take, you know, its uh, position. And this is your moon, this outcome. And this is your emotions that are, are um, accompany uh, the outcome. So you need to work fast. Although we don't have any cards that support speed here, this is what, you know, you need to do, transition. Um, get in and out, you know, enjoy it and let it go, you know, move on. So let's see how this, um, this information supports you. And I'm re really, really curious to see how April will unfold and how, um, you have used all this information for your benefit, I hope. So do come back in April and we'll see what you have done. I'm very curious about that. Well, thank you for being here and joining us. And I love you, Gemini. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>